Hey YouTube, welcome back to my object-oriented TypeScript series. In this video, we'll be going over encapsulation. So let's start off with the player class again. And this player class is going to have two instance variables, health, which is a number, and speed, which is a number. So if you create REO player, we instantiate that. And the problem with what we were doing before is that we had access to the object's internals as a user of the object, as a client of the object. So we now have access to Mario. We're using the Mario object and we can go in and set the health to 10 and set the speed to, let's say one, right? So we have access to its instance variables. But this is a problem because we don't want a an object's internals to be exposed to the public. And that's because I can do something like this. I can set the health to a negative health. What does this even mean, negative eight? Right, it might make sense if it was zero or something, but negative doesn't make sense and it could cause bugs or make our program crash. So we want to prevent this from happening. We do this by making our two instance variables private. When we make them private, they are they won't be accessible from the outside right now typescript makes all instance variables public by default so as you can see these are public variables by default i didn't have to do anything to these two instance variables i didn't have to change anything they're public by default i can modify them so if you want to make them private you use the private keyword and we already get a type error saying if we try to mutate the health property on the mario object we see that the property health is private and only accessible within the class player. So I made this private as well. So then the way we set the health and speed is that we add two methods called setters and getters. Setters set the instance variables and getters retrieve them. You can think of it as like reading and writing from a database or an API. So we want to set the health. So this method must take in some health and we set this dot health equals health and we want to get health we just return this dot health so when you saw the error message before on the mario object the error message the type error was health is private only accessible within this player class so the reason why we can mutate it here, the health instance variable, is because these two methods are within the player class. They're still, they're still contained in the class. And this is called encapsulation. We encapsulate and protect the object's internals. So then clients can't do things like this to harm themselves. So we can do mario.setHealth, let's say 10, and mario.setSpeed. Speed. So I didn't include set speed. Let's do that real quick. Uh, speed, speed, and speed. And let's make sure these two values are everything's working fine. Let's log Mario dot get health. Mario has health out of 10 health. Mario has speed, get speed. And let us go to the terminal, compile the TypeScript. And run the JS. Great, it works fine. So these two instance variables are encapsulated from the client, that's great. But now the problem is we didn't really do anything, we didn't really solve our original problem. We can still set the health to negative three, right? Nothing's gonna happen. We see here that the health is negative three. So what we do, the whole reason why we create these getters and setters is so we can add logic between, between our reading and writing to our object. 
So for example, let's say the set health. We'll check if the health is below zero, then we will console.log, let's say, you can't set the health below zero. And we'll return out of this method. So then there's no way for our, our health to be set. But if the health is indeed zero or above, then we will set the health. So let's try to set the health to negative three. And let's do it again with, let's say, eight. Let's go to terminal, compile, and run the JS. And we can see that when our first call to mario.setHealth, we our method prints out, you can't set the health below zero. So it doesn't let us set the health below zero. And then we set the health to eight and speed to one. Then we print out and we see that its health is eight and speed is one. So yeah, this is just a quick, quick overview of encapsulation. It's a pretty basic concept. It's one of the four pillars of object-oriented programming. And just make sure that when you are using genders and setters, you are actually using proper logic to protect your clients. If you're just, if you have this code, this has, this is nothing different. This is not, this is not, this is not any better than having public instance variables. So yeah, see you in the next video.